The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin back on the Soybean School today, joined again by Tracy Bowdy, uh, Omafra's uh, field entomologist. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Now, we're in a cornfield today, but we're going to talk soybeans, and yep. specifically bean leaf beetle, uh, a, a pest that uh, we did a lot of spraying for 15 years ago, kind of went away, yep. but it's coming back. Yep. What are you seeing out there? <laughs> Well, um, back about 10 years ago, with the area-wide use of neonic seed treatments, we actually saw a population suppression of bean leaf beetle. Not just here in Ontario, but in other uh, U.S. states as well. Now that there is more people choosing fungicide only, which is a, a good option, um, but if they're one of the first fields in, coming up in their region, guess what bean leaf beetle is finding them. So um, this has been a busy spring in trying to get the crops in. And uh, I don't think everyone's necessarily looking or expecting this to find bean leaf beetles. So I, I'm trying to get the heads up, go and take a look and see. It's something that can still um, have a rescue management option, but uh, it, you, you need to find it first. Mm. What's, uh, what's the rescue approach? So uh, there are thresholds, um, VC to V2. If you find 16 beetles per foot a row, you've reached threshold or beyond uh, V2, you've got defoliation thresholds. So by then, up to bloom, uh, it, can, it can tolerate about 30% uh, defoliation. But I, don't, I just can't predict what will happen this year because this is one of the first times we're seeing more presence again. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of, of watching and, and spraying if you need to. And also, you want to assess thresholds for next year if you want to use uh, uh, an insecticide seed treatment, a neonicotinoid. Yep. What do you have to do there? So yeah, not a lot of people remember this option is available if they do um, find that they have a significant stand loss. And stand loss doesn't even mean that the plant has to be completely gone. It just has to be injured. Um, you can get a crop inspection assessment done by a certified PPA. So they will check a good stand area and then compare it to the poor stand. And if in, in corn, for example, it would be 15% um, stand loss. But in soybeans, it would be 30% stand loss. And that applies for bean leaf beetle as well as seed corn maggot. So that is an option. They can't gain access to it um, by baits like they do before planting. But after the fact, if you see injury, you have the crop inspection option. Mm. Yeah. And then you can put that back in the toolbox next spring, right? Absolutely. That gives you permission or, or access to neonics for your entire farm property under that roll number um, for the next 12 months after your assessment. So mm. that is an option for available if you start to see injury. Awesome. Hey, thank you for yes. taking the time. Always great to have you on the Soybean School. Great. Thank you.